uh, speak on this? Sure. Um, this meeting was requested by uh, <coughs> Mr. and Ms. Mailer uh, to discuss the terms of the uh, agreement signed earlier this year. Um, the way the agreement is currently, and Jim, you can, it, I'm just trying to state some facts here, but let me know if you have any issues with what I say. Um, the agreement specifies that there would be uh, two main meters included in the private line. Um, and as of to date on the project as it continues, uh, there is not a second meter uh, being planned for in the, per in the line. Um, there's also some questions that I know Jim's going to bring up when he has an opportunity to speak about um, there seemed to be some confusion about what install, what the definition of install would be, and I think they're going to kind of make some suggestions based on that. But I'm really just going to kind of say that to start off with and give them an opportunity to speak because they're the ones that we posted to meet. Okay. Jim? Well, first of all, thanks for um, taking time out of your schedules to call or to have this special meeting. Um, as most of you know, I'm sure by now, uh, our water line project is almost to the point of fruition. Uh, we expect to turn the water on this week, sometime I hope. Um, the original agreement, as Adam said earlier, calls for uh, two main meters in the system. Uh, one at the hydrant where we tapped into the city water line on South 16th Street. Uh, the other one would was to be located on uh, where South 5th Street turns into Sierra Avenue, or more or less the city limits. Um, the idea behind that was to uh, define the number of gallons used outside the city limits as opposed to the number of gallons used inside the city limits. Um, at this point in time, the Mailers and the Dowlings, um, both of whom are located inside the city limits, are out expecting to, to get water. Um, we have one hookup outside the city limits. Um, in some of our discussions um, with different people, we wondered about the feasibility of eliminating that second meter um, which in the agreement this calls for the city to, to furnish. Um, I need to back up just a little bit here. It was our understanding that the definition of furnish a meter included the, the cost of the meter and the pit. Um, it wasn't spelled out in the language, but neither was um, the couplings and the hookups and everything else that went with the meter. So we took that to mean the full package. So what we're proposing is um, we'd like to eliminate that second meter and pit and everything that it takes to hook it up in exchange for the city uh, purchasing and, and furnishing the pit and all the couplings at the, the main meter on 16th Street. Um, it's kind of our understanding that with the new um, individual meters on the homes, uh, the city has the capability of, of reading those. And, and I guess I'm asking, is it not possible to read that meter compare it to the master meter reading and bill accordingly? Does that, does, does that work, Jim? Well, you can do it that way. I mean, it's, it's going to cause um, extra cost for um, the billing clerk. This is going to have to do some of it by hand. Um, plus, there will be, um, you know, postage, you know, all that kind of extra postage. Um, but I don't know, eliminating that, what we're trying to do is make sure that if there's a leak in the system, it gets paid for. We understand that, and that's in the agreement. Um, what if we would 
eliminate the second meter. We pay for the <coughs> on the first meter, and we charge one bill at one and a half times. That eliminates you guys having to have meters, us reading the meters. We send out one bill, and you guys take care of it. It's going to cost you a little bit more for water a month, but um, I mean we're compromising here. So we would we would not have any meter at our. Well, you would you would have to have meters at your house. Um, so we what, could we could break that down accordingly. Right. I mean you can read your own meters and compare it with the master bill, and that way you know what the the other person uh, is used. You want to try that? <laughs> <coughs> well, I guess in our conversation. I got one question. Are you guys on city sewer or that? It's private. So we have so we're yeah. So I wouldn't affect your sewer bill then, would it? Yeah. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. The water that goes through the main <coughs> meter mm -hmm. is what you guys will be billed off of, right? right? Well, all the water sitting in that line, you'll be billed for, but it won't necessarily have gone through your meters yet. So. So the initial bill is going to be. It's going to be different. Your your house meters probably won't match exactly what the main meter is because you're still going to have a lot of water out in the line sitting there. But will that catch up eventually and kind of? Once once the pipe is full. Yeah. Right. You know, that's, yeah. Yeah. So from that point on, are the two are all the meter in, are are they going to be 100 percent now? I mean, it's, you've got three different meters there. And, right. And so the, so what justifies? Concern for a leak then if, if they don't match if everything doesn't actually I can answer that a little bit um, If the meter the meters have a built-in mechanism that if there is continuous use of water for 24 hours It sends out a read that there is uh, The flags it is a leak possibility um, So that's usually unless there the other way of course is the old-fashioned way your next bill, when we're reading them, our billing clerk tries to do a very good job of recognizing spikes in usage and, and uh, contacting customers to say, hey, we've noticed a spike in your usage, mm -hmm. and you have any idea why. But um, those are usually the two mechanisms in place uh, as first response to catch leaks.